So this is another problem where we can use solubility product to show that we can use solubility to separate out metals in solution. So in this case, we have um, 0 0.01 molar of copper one chloride and 0 0.01 molar of silver chloride. We're going to be adding sodium iodide to the solution. So as a solid, it's not going to be changing the volume. So we're not going to have to worry about watching the volume change on this. So we're just adding the sodium iodide slowly until our copper iodide begins to precipitate. And we're asked to calculate silver iodide at this, at this solution. So we're given our two KSPs, KSP of copper iodide 5.1 times 7 minus 12, KSP of silver iodide 8.3 times 7 minus 17. And normally we cannot just compare KSPs. Normally we would have to calculate the solubility of both of them to decide which one is uh, the one that precipitates first. Because both these have the same KSP expression in terms of the solubility term, because they, they're both the same in that regard. So it's uh, copper times iodide, one to one, iodine times silver, one to one. In that case, we can say uh, we can compare the KSPs, and the smaller value is the one that is going to precipitate first. So we're going to precipitate silver iodide first. So we're calculating when we first hit the precipitation of copper iodide, the second precipitation that is occurring. So we calculate our iodide concentration right when copper iodide just begins. So that's the solubility limit. So we use our solubility expression copper KSP equals copper times iodide. We put in our numbers, the value of KSP for copper iodide, the concentration of the copper ion. We solve for iodide, we end up with 5.1 times 10 minus 10. So we're gonna use this iodide now to calculate the silver that is in solution at that, uh, in that solution. So we write our KSP equation, KSP is uh, silver times iodide. We put in our values for, for the KSP of silver iodide, the concentration now of iodide. I'm solving for silver. So that'll be our KSP over this iodide concentration. We get 1.6 times 10 minus 7. Another very small value, but bigger than the iodide was. So did we do a separation? So we can calculate how much silver is remaining. So we have our concentration, uh, 0.16 times 10 minus 7. We divide by the initial concentration of 0 0.01 molarity times 100%. And we get to the 0.0016%. So by the time we have just started to precipitate out of the copper, we have removed the 99.9% .9 of the silver from the solution. 